Hey, what's up guys? It is Mason and Shane here. It's a Tips Tuesday, Team Severson. And uh, what we want to talk about this week is something that we came across recently. An article put out by Forbes magazine talking about um, the potential inflation that we might see in our economy in the next handful of years. Um, what was interesting and what we found out and kind of read into a little bit more was uh, something that they mentioned in the article as a potential way to hedge against inflation uh, was real estate investing. Um, so that's what we want to talk about a little bit. Shane, do you want to kind of expand on what they were saying? Yeah, so I think what's interesting is we're all concerned about inflation. I mean, I can't right. tell you how many times I've heard that, oh my God, my kids are going to pay for all this money that they're pumping into the economy right. and they're falsely holding it up. Somebody's got to pay for that. Right. And we're all concerned about it. We're all worried about it. And uh, who's paying for it and how do you protect against that? Right. And so, yeah, I think one thing that you brought to my attention, actually, you showed me is uh, the fact that the number one way to hedge against inflation is actually investing in real estate. Yeah. I thought that was crazy. So they what, said, is that, what does that mean? For people that don't know, what does that mean? Yeah, so I think the interesting thing is if you have $40,000, let's just say, invested right. in the stock market, some of you have 20000 that's okay. Some of you have a million dollars, that's okay. But that money in your stock market is is going to take a major hit. Um, right. We go right. buy, you know, my kids, they're going to go buy their first car. And instead of that car being 20000 for a first car, it's going to be 40000 for a first sure. car. Yep. It's it's going to inflate everything, right? right and so right. cost of everything is going to go up. And the only way to hedge against, or I shouldn't say the only way, the greatest way to hedge against that is rental properties. So just to expand on that, uh, by buying real estate, they yeah. are saying that both the appreciation because of inflation will hold your uh, investment up. But the only thing that's going to keep up with inflation at an equal rate is rents. Right. So they're saying right that as the inflation is kicking everything up in cost, your rents will go up as well. So sure. if you buy a $400,000 home, right. and that rents for 2,200, let's just say, right. um, and if you're renting out there, uh, you should buy. Um, <laughs> I think that, you know, very quickly with that inflation, it's going to go up to 24, 25, 26. Right. And those rents are going to start really climbing. So right. if you own rental property, both your asset is secured and the rents are going to go up to hold that investment up. Right. The other right. thing that I think was interesting about that article was the idea that the stock market um, is going to have a really hard time. In times of the inflation, the stock market really tries to keep up, but it can't keep up with inflation. So your sure. investments, all your money is actually tied up into something that can't keep up with inflation. So right. um, I think what's interesting, I mean, you're obviously younger than I am. Right. I'm guessing you still have some people that you laugh. Well, it's just, I mean, Okay. All right. I mean, I see how we're doing this. <laughs> um, you probably still have some friends that don't own homes, right? What would you say to those people? Yeah, I mean, I would say in general, whether we're worried about inflation or not, I mean, the best and most important purchase that you can make is your first home. And why do you say that? I mean, it's it's an incredible investment. It's the it's only going to continue to grow in its value. Yeah. You're not going to, you know, buy a brand new car, drive it off the lot, and lose $2,000 in its value all of a sudden. Yeah. You're buying a home, and its value is going to continue to increase. You hang on to that home. You take the equity that you have made in that home. Say it's $20,000 after a couple of years, whatever it is. You take that money, and you go buy another home and then rent this one. So in terms of the inflation, I think, it, yeah, it is a, it's a great investment in terms of keeping up with the inflation that we might see over the next you know, handful of years. So. Yeah, and me being an old guy, um, right. which you can laugh if you want with Mason, but me being an old guy, I can't believe I'm saying that. Um, I have lots of friends that do have investments. And I would say if you are in the stock market, I've talked to many of you and you have done very well in the stock market. I'm telling you, it's time I've got friends that are pulling their money out of the stock market sure. now, taking all those gains and now investing that into the real estate market because right. that's going to be a better return long term. I think it's time to buy, whether it's your first home, an investment home, a 50th home, it's time to pour more money into real estate. I promise you it will bring great results. So anyway, 
Mason, Shane here, Tips Tuesday. Hope that helps. God bless. We'll, we'll see you, see you next time. week.